So I've been learning a little bit about ancient Egypt, some construction methods and things like that. Yeah, just like everybody else, trying to figure out how they built the pyramids, right? Well, anyway, um, this is not a building theory, but more of a measurement theory. So the theory was basically how to how the Egyptians uh, remapped their farm plots after the annual flooding of the Nile River. Because once the water receded during the flood, they had to remap everybody's uh, uh, agricultural plots, so to speak. And what they needed to do was come up with a unit of measure that was consistent. Okay? Now, I'm not going to talk about all the different uh, measurements that they uh, tried to come up with, but I'm going to concentrate on one. And you're going to, I think you're going to find this fascinating. But they were looking for uh, an object that had a consistent size that they can use over and over and over to create their measuring sticks, so to speak. Um, yeah, it was believed that they uh, measured the foot of the pharaoh and called it, um, you know, some kind of royal measurement based on his foot. But each pharaoh was a different size, so that measurement can change. So what they needed to do is to find something that was consistent. And here's where the theory that I find fascinating. Basically, and you can test this in your own home, all you need is fresh water, okay? Fresh, clean water. And you need a hard surface, such as this laminate top on my counter, okay? And then a modern day measuring device, such as my steel ruler that has empirical, empirical on one side and metric on the other side. You want, you want the metric. But if you, take, if you take this water and you dip your finger in it and let it drop, oops, that didn't work very well. If you take a drop and let that drop, Drop on there. I know this is not great cin uh, cin cinematography, but anyway. And you measure this dot. Not the not the tiny one. Not not that one. <laughs> You're gonna get us pretty much pretty close to a centimeter. But it's a science experiment, so we have to repeat that. So. Write down your measurement. Then take another one. And let that drop come off your finger. And take your ruler. And measure that. It's pretty darn close to a centimeter. Okay. Clean that spot. Make sure that's dry. Because water, you know, has surface tension. And that can affect your result there. Alright, take another drop. Put that on the table. Forgive me if this keeps getting out of view. And then measure. I'm probably, you know, a millimeter or so over a centimeter there. But it's pretty close. Alright, dry that surface. Get my cup. Another drop of water on there. And my fingers, oh, you know, maybe a half inch off of the off of the table when I get that drop off. But yeah, another centimeter. Alright. So the theory is that the Egyptians discovered that water droplets were consistent no matter, you know temperature, no matter the region, no matter what water that you chose, you know, as long as it was fresh water and not 
salting was because uh, salt water would have the salt in it that would um, change the size but fresh water doesn't matter what origin that that water came from but each drop was always consistent in its size so they took that measurement and made increments on a stick so to speak and they marked out their stick with these increments of the same size and they took ten, ten of those was equal to the length of a finger and they called that the royal finger and then ten of those was the royal hand okay the royal hand I would assume from here to here okay and then 10 of these equaled the royal leg all right now if we look at this this is the base of the metric system now uh, still waiting on overall consensus in the scientific and uh, scientific world if if this is widely accepted but this is just one theory that I found extremely interesting I'm not good at math but I love math okay so if the Egyptians used that type of measuring unit that would have been the base of the meter or the metric system that wasn't even developed until later on way you know thousands and thousands of years after the Egyptians used that type of measuring unit anyway food for thought see you later